This video is about volumes of revolution. If we take part of a curve, so in this case part of y equals 1 over 3x plus 1, if we take the part of the curve between 0 and 2, and we rotate it, we spin it around the x-axis for 360 degrees, or 2 pi radians, we generate a 3D shape. So if you imagine that we spin this around 360 degrees, we're going to generate a 3D shape that looks something like this. We can work out the volume of this 3D shape by doing pi times the integral of y squared with respect to x between the two limits we're given in the question. So in this case, between 0 and 2. It's a bit like pi r squared for the radius for the area of a circle, but it's made up of a lot of little circles all pushed together to make a 3D shape. So in order to find the volume of a solid generated by spinning part of a curve around the x-axis 360 degrees, we do pi times the integral of y squared with respect to x between the limits we're given. So let's look at the question. So we've got, in this case, y equals 1 over 3x plus 1, and our limits are 2 and 0. So we're going to have between 2 and 0, 1 over 3x plus 1 squared with respect to x. So if we square the top and bottom, we've got 1 over 3x plus 1 squared with respect to x. And we could even write that as 3x plus 1 to the power of minus 2 with respect to x. Now we can integrate it. So we can do a u substitution for u as 3x plus 1. Or we can do the reverse chain rule. I'm going to do the reverse chain rule because it's quicker. So that gives us, if we add 1 to the power, we get negative 1. Divide by the new power, so divide by negative 1. So that would just be a negative. And we're going to divide by the bracket differentiated, which is 3. So we can put a third on the front. So we have integrated it now. We don't have to worry about c because we're going to take away the 2 and the 0 and the c will disappear. So let's substitute in the 2 and 0. So we've got minus a third times 3 twos plus 1 to the power of minus 1. Put another bracket around this. Take away minus a third times 3 zeros plus 1 to the power of minus 1. And we can type this in the calculator now. And we should get out an answer. And we should get out 2 sevenths pi. And I write units cubed because we're doing a volume. Okay, here's another question. So again, the volume of the solid formed is going to be pi times the integral of y squared with respect to x between the two limits we're given, so between 2 and 0. In this case, y is e to the power of x, so we've got pi times the integral between 2 and 0 of e to the power of x squared with respect to x. And we can simplify that further e to the power of x squared is e to the power of 2x. 
so we can integrate it now. e to the power of 2x integrated. So when we integrate e, it stays the same. But we divide by the bracket differentiated, so the reverse chain rule, which is, well, the bracket differentiated is 2. So we divide by 2, or times by a half. So we've got pi times half e to the power of 2x, and it's between 2 and 0. So we're going to try and leave our answer as exact. So we're not going to put it in the calculator this time. We're just going to simplify. So we've got pi times half e to twos minus half e to zeros. So two twos are four. And two zeros are zero. And anything to the power of zero, so e to the power of zero is one. So that gives us pi times half e to the power of four minus a half. And that's absolutely fine. We could leave our answer as that. Or we could take the half outside, which should look a little bit neater. So we have half pi times e to the power of 4 minus 1. And that's our answer. And again, I'll write units cubed because it's a volume. Okay, one more question. So pause the video, give this one a go, and press play when you're ready to go through the answer. So again, we've got pi times the integral of y squared with respect to x and the limits are 2 and 0 again. So we'll add those on there. y is 1 over the square root of 3x plus 1. So we're going to have 1 over the square root of 3x plus 1 squared. And if we square the top and bottom of the fraction, we'll have 1 over 3x plus 1. So now we're going to integrate this. And if we integrate it, we're going to get an ln. So we'll have ln 3x plus 1. And again, from the reverse chain rule, we're going to divide by the bracket differentiated, which is 3 on this case. So let's have a third on the front. So we've got a third ln 3x plus 1, and again between 2 and 0. So substitute in the 2 and 0, so that will give us a third ln 7 minus a third ln 1. ln 1 is 0. So that just means we've got one third pi ln seven. And again, units cubed.